Hey everyone, today we are in Prague, Czech. I'm so excited to be here. I've never been to Prague before. So we got here yesterday night. We're already popped on. <laughs> so, so tired. So we got to Prague last night. It took about five and a half hours from Poznan, Poland to get here. We were just driving and it was pouring rain. So we had to go a little bit slow, but this city looks absolutely amazing. on the double ended. Um, I kind of like using a high aperture. No, because sometimes no, I know, I know, I know. sometimes you guys complain that I shoot the whole vlog that I shoot the whole vlog at f1.4 and then you can't see the background. I think it looks nice. I That's how I like it. <laughs> Robotic bar. <laughs> So we're going to do some city exploring today. We're going to be taking some photos. I'm vlogging on the A7S III with the 20mm f1.8. <laughs> and I also have my Sony a7 IV, which I'll be taking photos on with my GM35 1.4. I also have the 14mm with me as well because we were walking around the streets yesterday and they are very like tight and the buildings are really tall. So I don't know if the 35 is going to cut it. So I do have the 14 for that reason, just in case. <laughs> just waiting. There's so many shots of me just like awkwardly holding the camera at this angle, waiting for people to walk past so I can talk. <laughs> I love how behind this massive wall that goes all the way down there, there's just a park and it looks massive. We're gonna go and explore it. As soon as you walk past that gate, it's like silent inside. It's really cool. Now it's so peaceful. <laughs> it is a massive, massive wall. I really hope you can hear me properly. <laughs> I'm too shy, <laughs> like whispering. Do you want to swap soon, Dan? Do you miss doing video? No, I'm fine. Yeah? You're always hiding behind me in all the shots. <laughs> <laughs> He goes from hiding behind me to like getting right in the middle of my shot. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. When I'm vlogging, Dan is taking photos, and when I'm taking photos, Dan's doing his little cinematic video on the A7S3. He just changed all the shortcuts on my camera that I had them all set up. Why are you changing my shortcuts? Gotta keep Jules on her feet. <laughs> it's too easy for you. <laughs> so we decided to cross the river with the bridge that runs parallel to the Charles Bridge just there. There's so many people on that bridge and there's like no one on this bridge. And also we decided to walk a little bit further so the Charles Bridge could be backlit in our photos. Although I feel like I need maybe an 85 to get a good photo of like that right there. I might have to come back tomorrow. I'm oh, so sweaty. <laughs> I think this is where we should come for either sunset or sunrise depending. I need to check my out which way the sun rises. <laughs> something out of a Wes Anderson movie. It's so symmetrical and the colors are really cool too. Prague Castle and then there's also the Royal Garden that we didn't go to yet. I hope it's free. <laughs> the Royal Garden. What are we doing there? Okay, so now we have to go back because I think this is like the last attraction at the end of the road. So we're going to go back the way we came to see Prague Castle and then go to the Royal Garden. That's the plan. Well, I remember seeing, oh, this is so pretty. The gardens below Prague Castle, we have to go here too. Well, I wanna go here because I remember seeing some vineyards when we were crossing the bridge and I'm like, that looks so cool because it's just vineyards in the middle of the city. So I think it's probably here in the castle thing. <laughs> we'll find out. 
What did you find? There's a giant metronome as well. <laughs> oh my god. Freshki metronome. I'm gonna take some pictures of Dan here. So we ended up getting ice cream. I got dragon fruit because I've never seen dragon fruit ice cream flavor before and it's really good. And I also got sea berry because I've never tried that before and it's actually really nice. It's like a, like a more subtle version of orange mixed with like passion fruit almost. And then Dan got lemon, <laughs> he's filming one-handed. <laughs> Thank you. Now we're gonna make our way all the way down the steps from Broad Castle to get to the gardens. It's so, so hot today and this is just the middle of the day sun. So it's midday right now, so the sun is super harsh. I personally still like taking photos even when the lighting is like this because you can end up with some cool high contrast photos. I tied my hair back again. <laughs> I'll take it down when the, the light is nice. I didn't drop ice cream on my shoes or anything. So <laughs> I like the stuff so much. Well, I was actually wondering if you would mind taking a film photo of me. So we're never going to get through these rolls. <gasps> yes, this way is so pretty. I'm going to go like there. I have some Portra 160 in here today. There was no one here for like a good five minutes and then as soon as we go to take a picture, it's <laughs> used people. That happens like every time. I'm pretty sure this is the sea berry berry that I ate in ice cream earlier. <laughs> We are walking around Prague Gardens now. This place is so beautiful. Again, the light is super harsh, so I think after this we might have some chill time before going out to take more photos later in the day, so I want to wait for the light to get softer for that. I decided to bring my 35mm lens with me on this first day of exploring Prague. I do love using wider angle lenses for travel photography like a 24 or a 35 because it's a great way to capture the story and include lots of elements of the places that you're visiting. The landscape here in this spot looks super busy. There's just so many red layers of rooftops which looks so cool but to break it up a little bit, I've been trying to find some plants to add to the foreground of my photos and I think it just adds a little bit of softness to the image and I really like that it breaks up all the straight, harsh lines. Alright? Well, <laughs> you just... You disappeared out of your shot? Yeah, you just dropped out of the frame like... This is me vlogging on the GM24 1.4. I think it's a little bit too close up, but I used to vlog in a 28, so I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> it's a little bit wide. We're going out for a little sunset dusk mission. I've got my 85 with me today. I have nothing because Jules stole my camera. <laughs> it is a nice 24. It's my 24. My 24. But I like it. <laughs> my 24. <laughs> So you're shooting on an 85? Are we going to cross the bridge? Mm -hmm. Also, you might notice I have a new camera strap on me as well. I ended up getting it from Photo Scotter here in Prague today because I wanted to have a strap that goes across my body rather than around my neck.
across the room. So one, one Good morning. Today we are. Okay, I'm so I can't think. <laughs> Let me wait for that truck. Good morning everyone. Today is day two in Prague and we woke up at sunrise because the city is extremely busy during the day. That means four in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty early. Oh, there's another truck. Now it's quiet. <laughs> so we woke up at sunrise so we could enjoy a more quiet Prague with less people around and some nice lighting. It is quite cloudy today. I really wanted to walk up to the top of the hill to get a landscape shot of the city but the clouds look really really flat today so that's not really gonna work out maybe tomorrow might be better so for today's photo shooting i decided to bring my 85 millimeter f 1.4 instead of my 35. i find that the 35 is really good for those wider photos to include a lot of your location and for photos of the subject in the location Compared to the 85, which can isolate your subject and create dreamier photos, whether it's a person or even a building, it like almost brings the landscape towards you and makes it look really majestic in a photo. Like those photos I took of Dan last night, I really, really love how they turned out. So today I'm gonna focus on taking some cityscape photos from the 85 just so I have something different. Swans are so cute! I love the little sound they're making while they're eating this grass. Just want a shot where you can see the layers of swans. Hey. How many coffees have you had today? Good morning. And how warm was my shower? <laughs> oh, Dan didn't have any hot water good times <laughs> it's our last morning in prague <laughs> i don't want to leave <laughs> that's so pretty i love this building i have my 35 back in my camera there's no one <laughs> i do tell you a bad morning every day We even slept in by accident a little bit. I'm so glad the streets are empty. Want some pictures of Dan without his camera? I have so 1,000. Oh my god, so many birds. Yes, I need some nice pictures right here where it's like a little bit brighter. I really have to have my arm outstretched for a 24 vlogging. Whoa, oh the light. So I'm going to take some photos of Dan down the street here. Oh, that's so pretty, Dan. Walk towards me. Oh, the birds! Oh my God. <laughs> You're like the bird man. <laughs> that was really cool. Also, even though I look kind of silly, which I don't really get, <laughs> I like to move around a lot when Dan is taking photos and Dan does the same thing where he's like walking around a lot. I love getting portraits with movement. I feel like it makes the images look more dynamic and a little more interesting as well. Wow, the main square has the most amazing light right now. It's so pretty. Definitely going to make the most of it. So Dan and I are gonna take a bunch of portraits of each other. There's too many things to keep in mind. We're gonna take some photos on the contacts and I have Portra 160 in here. So I've got a shot of Dan, where we've got Dan in the sun and the background in the sun as well. One, two. Oh, face the sun though. And you're too far away. One, two. Wait, no, I wanna get closer. <laughs> One, two, three. 
So we have Dan in the sun facing the sun and the background in the sun and I'm really curious to see how this one turns out. I need something like with light on it so maybe we can go down that little alleyway. By the way, all the film photos you're seeing I've developed and scanned all by myself at home. So, well I haven't done it yet but if you're seeing them in this video it means I was successful. Yeah, actually, I'm going to take it of this, but I need to wait for the, the floor sweeper to move. Oh, he's doing a U-turn. Now there's a van. Oh, please don't park there. Please. Go, keep going. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> it looked like it was ready. Okay, ready? Oh, scooter. Come on. I also have my Mewtwo that I need to finish off as well. It has Fuji C200 in it. I want to get a picture of this red building. I love what this looks like. A little bit further back. <laughs> I only get one shot. Okay, there. Nice. <laughs> Oops, should we go down that alleyway? Is that the way we came? That's the way we came. Yep. Well, should we go there? Something I love about the Mew is that it does actually fit in my pocket. It's a bit bulgy, but it fits. I'm gonna have a little collection of stop sign film photos on these point and shoot cameras. They just look so good, I don't know. I like the colors. Too dark. <laughs> well, I want a selfie with you. While I was adjusting this video camera, I accidentally took a photo of the floor. Nice. <laughs> I'm getting a picture of Dan. I love the colors here. Ready? One. Oh, just keep on. We'll just wait one second. I absolutely adore Prague. It is so, so beautiful. Ooh. That's so cool. There's like so many fine details in all the buildings, even down to the pathways, like the footpath is so beautiful. There's like nice little patterns and stuff. <laughs> okay, so that is all I have for today's vlog in Prague. I don't want to leave here. It's so beautiful. Like literally anywhere you look is so, so nice. But thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week. I will have more vlogs from the next destination that we're going to. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.